The, the three basic 3D geometry types are your surface, um, which essentially is kind of like a, you think of it as a polygon in space, but it actually has a side to it. And it's got a, it's got a, I guess a 3D-ness to it. We have a, a front side, a back side, and an orientation in space. Um, we have meshes, which are kind of a simplified representation of a surface uh, made up of, of, of points and uh, uh, triangles. And then we have solids, which are true 3D objects. They have an inside and an outside. Now, meshes are, are kind of cool. Um, they're a very efficient uh, way of storing your surfaces. So unlike before we saw we had that hierarchy of faces and composite surfaces and everything, mesh just blows everything into a single layer, but it's, it stores a lot more efficiently. And I'll, I'll show you what a mesh looks like in FME. So this place, we're just reading from a, a, a DM file. We're using a tin generator to create a surface from that DEM file. And by default, the, the tin generator creates a mesh surface. So we'll just run this. It's about as simple as it gets in 3D right here. Pretty much. And we'll have a look at this mesh. So we can see that it's got a nice triangulated network here. Ooh. Got the 3D happening. But if we look, more importantly, is if we look at the feature information, we see that it says that IFME mesh, we're all good there, but there's no hierarchy involved. There's a vertex pool and parts. That's all you got, folks. So a vertex pool is all the vertices in this mesh. Every single uh, point there is in, the, in this vertex pool. And then parts, these are the actual faces, if you will, in a mesh. So it tells you the, the index, uh, uh, the vertex index of each of these, um, of, the, of the little faces in here. Right. But again, they're not individual faces. They are part of a whole. Yes. So it's, this is a, an optimized way of doing 3D. Exactly. It's, it's much more efficient to display. It's much more efficient to store. What it lacks is any sense of hierarchy. Right. So for simple 3D formats, uh, we'll, we'll usually uh, write to mesh and it's, uh, things are stored as mesh. Right. And so for GIS people, and they've got, if you've got some 3D-ish or 2.5D data kicking around, yeah. the, the most likely thing you're going to create is a mesh like this. Exactly. True 3D comes from much more complex things. Yeah. And there's no color on that thing, no. but, but you could if you, you felt could like it. texture. And actually, you can texture the individual uh, parts of the mesh. Wow. Okay. So, it does, I mean, it, it, there does have a lot of the capabilities of the, the standard sort of face hierarchy. Yeah. Except for the hierarchicalness of it. Yeah. Okay. So that's a mesh. That's a mesh.